In today's episode, you will learn how to make an IoT-based water level monitoring system using HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor. Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and link application. This project is based on two-way communication. You can monitor the water level in real time and you can also control the water pump. The lamp indicator represents the water pump. This is the second version of the water level monitoring system. While in the version 1 of the water level monitoring system, I used only the LEDs to show the percentage of water available in the water tank. As today's episode is based on the version 1, so I highly recommend you should watch my previous tutorial on the water level monitoring system using LEDs. Because in this episode, I will only explain the modifications. In today's episode, we will cover number one, complete circuit diagram explanation. Number two, interfacing. Number three, Arduino and Node MCU programming. And finally, number four, testing. Let's get started. The components used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This circuit is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. As you can see, the circuit diagram of the water level monitoring system is really simple. The trigger pin of the ultrasonic sensor is connected with pin number 7 of the Arduino. While the echo pin of the ultrasonic sensor is connected with pin number 6 of the Arduino. The VCC and ground pins of the ultrasonic sensor are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground pins. These are the 5 LEDs which will be used to display the percentage of water available in the water tank. The first LED will show 20%, the second LED will show 40% and so on. So the last LED will show 100%. These are the current limiting resistors which are connected in series with these 25 volt LEDs. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to calculate the value of the current limiting resistor. You can find link in the description. These LEDs are connected with the Arduino's analog pins A0 to A4. This is the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM705 voltage regulator. This 5 volt power supply will be used to power up the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output of the 7805 voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with the LED. This is a current limiting resistor. J1 is the DC female power jig where you can connect a 12 volt adapter or battery. A wire from the output of the voltage regulator is connected with a VN pin of the Node MCU module. The TX and RX pins of the Node MCU are connected with pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the Arduino. So the Node MCU will communicate serially with the Arduino through pin number 2 and pin 3. Pin 2 is the RX and pin 3 is the TX, which will be defined in the programming using the software serial library. This is a 12 volt SPD type relay which will be used to control the water pump. But for the demonstration purposes, I will connect an indicator lamp. This relay will be controlled using pin number 13 of the Arduino. For the relay driver circuit design calculations, watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. I have already explained these connections in version 1. These connections will remain the same. This time I will add a node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and one channel relay module. Connect the ground pin of the node MCU module with the Arduino's ground. Connect the TX pin of the Node MCU module with pin number 2 of the Arduino. 
Connect the RX pin of the Node MCU module with pin number 3 of the Arduino. This is the 5 volt regulated power supply which I explained in the circuit diagram. Connect the ground of the power supply with the ground of the Node MCU module and connect the 5 volt output of the power supply with the VN pin of the Node MCU module. This is a 3 channel relay module but I will use only one relay. Its interfacing is really simple. Connect the ground pin of the relay module with the ground pin of the Arduino or Node MCU module as all the grounds are connected together. Connect any of the three relays with pin number 13 of the Arduino. For the demonstration purposes, I will connect this 220 volt AC indicator lamp with the relay. Now that all the components are fixed on the hardboard, now let's make the Blink application. First of all, open the Blink application. Set the project name as Water Tank. Click on the Choose device and select Node MCU. Make sure you set the connection type to Wi-Fi. Then click on the Create button. An authentication token will be sent on your email ID which will be then used in the programming. Simply copy and paste it in programming. Click anywhere on the screen and search for the Level V widget and edit. Click on the Level V widget. Set the title is a Water Level. Now click on the pin and select Virtual Pin V2. Set the minimum value as 60 and maximum value as 0. Then click on the push and select one second. Now again click on the screen and this time add the numeric input. Click on the numeric input and set the title as Water Pump. Now click on the pin and select Virtual Pin V10. You can change the font size if you want. Let's select the large type. Set the minimum value to 10 and maximum value to 11. So now our Blink application is ready. Now let's discuss the programming. In this project two programs are used. This program is written for the Arduino while this program is written for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Let's first start with the Arduino programming. This is the same program which I used in version 1 of the water level monitoring system. This time I made a few changes. Edit the software serial header file for creating a serial port on pin number 2 and 3 of the Arduino and set the name as Node MCU. Pin number 2 is the RX and pin number 3 is the TX. The trigger and echo pins remains the same. 
Defined a pin for the water pump. A relay will be connected with pin number 13 of the Arduino. This relay will be used to control the water pump. The LED connections remains the same. Then defined some variables of the type integer, string and character. In the white setup function, I made only one change. That is, I added the node mcu.begin function to activate the node MCU module and set the baud rate to 9600. What rest of the instructions remains the same. Then starts the while loop function. If node MCU dot available equals equals zero. If we haven't received any data from the Arduino, then simply keep calling the ultrasonic function. The ultrasonic function is a user defined function and it consists of the same code which was explained in the version 1. The purpose of this function is just to organize the code. As you can see, this is the same exact code used in version 1. Not even a single instruction is changed. If node MCU dot available greater than 0, if the Arduino has received data from the node MCU module, then simply read node MCU module and store the character and variable R data. And then add this character with the MyString variable to make a complete message. This condition makes sure that the entire message is received. KitValue is a user defined function and is used to split the entire message. I have been using this function in almost all of my Node MCU based projects. We split the message using comma as the delimiter, store the string value and a variable L and then convert this value into an integer and store the value and variable first value and then empty the myString variable for the new data. Then using the F condition we check whether we are receiving 10 or 11 from the Blink application and then accordingly the water pump is turned on and turned off. While the purpose of Flake is to stop the unnecessary repetition of code. Now let's have a look at the Node MCU programming. Before you start the Node MCU programming, first of all make sure that you download all the necessary libraries and you install the Node MCU board and you also install a driver for the USB UART. I have a separate video on this. The link is given in the description. Integer pin value 1. This variable will be used to store the value of the numeric input which can be 10 or 11. This 10 or and 11 will be then sent to the Arduino for controlling the water pump. String v2 Arduino. This variable will be used to make a complete message which will be sent to the Arduino. This is the authentication number which was sent via email or simply copied and pasted over here. This is the name of your Wi-Fi and this is the password. Then defined some variables of the type string, corrector and integer. White setup function is the same as used in my previous Node MCU based tutorials but this time I am using only one user defined function. Then starts the while loop function. If serial dot available equals equals zero. If we haven't received any data from the Arduino, then simply keep calling these functions. To Arduino is a user defined function. The purpose of this function is to send the value of the numeric input which is received from the Blink application to the Arduino. If serial dot available greater than zero, if we have received data from the Arduino, then read the serial port, make a complete message, and then split the message using the get value function. Convert the string into integer, and finally empty the my string variable for the new value. The sensor value one is a user defined function, and the purpose of this function is to send the water level information to the Blink application virtual pin v2 using the blink.virtualwrite function. 
when the rest of the programming is exactly the same as explained in my previous tutorials. For the best understanding, I recommend you should watch my previous tutorials on Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. So that's it. These programs can be downloaded from my blog page. The link is given in the description. I have already uploaded these programs. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.